27, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God created us to be above all people on the face of the earth. But let me tell you something, sis. Where you from? What part? East side. So, sis, who at the bottom in the hoods everywhere you go? B100. Black people. Who catch a hell first fire last hire? Job discriminated against. Locked into the penitentiary houses. Who is it, sister? Ain't it us? Hey. I've been watching y'all on YouTube. Sammy. Sammy. All uh, praises. Already. Sister, you know you have to listen, sister. Understand this. Sister, you know you're gonna be you gonna have to die one day. This this lifetime real short and very tedious, sister. It's real short. Yesterday I just remember my time was in middle school. It's real short, sister. You know you're gonna be on your deathbed one day. And what you gonna be judged off of when you on your on your deathbed? What you gonna be judged off of? Give me, Rev give me Revelation 20 and 12. You say what? Your action, sister. You know your action, sister. God told you you're not supposed to come out the house like that, sis. Your shape is supposed to be for your husband. Listen, sister. See, but the thing is, your God could command you to do one thing, but as his daughter, no, sister, sister. See, when it, the truth start to come out, people want to throw flee, sis. I'm trying to pull you out of fire. Sister, I'm trying to pull you out of that fire, sister. Your shape must be for your husband. Your, but listen, sister, sex is marriage. A man lay down with you, he got to make you his wife. That's right. Give me the Exodus 22 and 16. I didn't say, sister, I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't sister. I didn't say that, sister. I'm told you, I'm telling you what marriage is. Once a man lay with you, sister, you are his wife. And he got to take care of you, sister. And a man shouldn't be able to drive by and see what you're working with, sister. He got to earn it. He got to prove it. He got to earn it, sister. Read this. The book of Exodus, chapter 22 and verse 16. Read. And if a man entice a maid. So if a man entice a woman, he prove or persuade a woman. Read. That is not betrothed. That does not belong to another man. Read. And lie with her. And go into that woman. Read. He shall surely endow her. To be his wife. Surely endow her to be his wife. That is marriage. Bring it out. So, sister, understand. These brothers out here, so you are what you advertise. You know what I'm saying? I'm your brother, sister. I've been in the game just like you. We know, we not, you know how it is, sister. A person is what they get, what they advertise. Think about what I'm telling, sis. So, if I see a sister, I see a shape, I'm going to approach her differently than the one in modest. I'm going to approach her differently than the one being modest. Get that. AG, get that, AG. I'm going to approach that woman differently than the one in modest apparel. You get what I'm saying? Be real. I'm approaching her with a different level because guess what? She modest about herself. So that's the thing, sister. Give me Leviticus 19 and 26. So, sister, but the thing is, sister, you're right, but a person is known by their look. No, I'm not judging. So, listen, listen, sister, sister. I'm not saying I'm judging you. I got to lean on the word of God. And so, but, so, so the thing is, if I see, if, 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 if I've seen my brother walking down the street in a dress, I'm not going to judge him, but he's going to be known by his look. Something ain't right with that brother. Bring it out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to necessarily cast judgment on him, but God damn, I'm going to know something not right. Give me a little, uh, please to ask us chapter 19, verse 29. What you on for me over here? That's what I want. 20, 26, 19. Matter, give it around to 23 and 17. Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore Read. of the daughters of Israel. Read. No a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Give me uh, Titus chapter 1, verse chapter 1. All I'm saying, sister, that you say you believe in this Bible. All God commanded his daughters to do is be walk around in modest apparel. Modesty. Address. No, sister, listen, 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 sister. It's not what I want you to do, address. This is modest apparel. This is modesty. This is what our sisters were. Dresses. Down to the foot, not revealing their shapes, sis. You feel what I'm saying? And that's just scripture. Now, yeah, you can lean on your own understanding, right? You can do what you want to do, right, sister? It's easy. Anybody can do what they want to do, but only the elect, the chosen, gonna do what their father commanded them to do. And that's just to be a modesty, a modest apparel. Your legs, your shape was supposed to be for your husband. That's See, the people, they got, I'm telling you, it's for the death coming around here, sis. You know, the smile, you, you're a beautiful sister, but guess what, sister? You're going to be on your deathbed one day, sis, crying out, and the most I'm not going to hear you, sis. The lake of fires for eternity, sis. Give me that. Read this. The book of Ecclesiastes, yes. Nin chapter 19 and verse 29. Read. A man may be known by his look. May be known by his what? By his look. Read. And one that has understanding by his countenance. You're going to have understanding by their countenance and their conversation, man. But our people don't consider. Our people don't consider, man. 
you know, to thank everything I'll find in Danny, that it's going to last forever. But death and destruction is on his way here. Death and destruction is on his way, man. You good, A.G. Death and destruction, man. We out here crying out to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. That's right. So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American, Indians, man. To warn them to repent and return to God. And do what the Most High command them to do. That's right. Come back to his law, statutes, and commandments. But they fail to hearken, man. They fail to hearken. That's right. They fail to hearken. Jeez. Give me jo Jeremiah 4 and 22. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. Read this up. The book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 4 and verse 22. Read. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They have not what? They have not known Man, they have not known the God of Israel, man. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. They have not known. They have not known him. We know. They are saddest children. They are what? They are saddest children. They are saddest children, man. Very saddest. Don't want to hearken, man. Bring it out. Don't want to obey. Just to lean on their own understanding. We know. And they have none understanding. No understanding, man. All we are trying to let them know that they're the chosen children of God and they got requirements. It's going to be hot where they going if they don't repent. Bring it out. Real hot. Read. They are wise to do evil. They are what? They are wise to do evil. The sisters, the sisters just wise to do evil. Wise to do evil, but read on. But to do good. They have no knowledge. But to do good, have no knowledge, man. No knowledge at all. All we have to do is trying to crowd top people to repent, man, and come at the God's law, statutes, and commandments. All we doing, but our people regard not, man. Consider not. They're going to have to answer for their doings. That's right. They're going to be weighed by their actions. Known by their fruits. Read. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void. It was without form and void, man. No order, no nothing. Read on. As the heavens, and they had no light. And they had no what? And they had no light. Since you're driving around the proud of life, man, you can't tell them nothing. No, she got it all. She got it all figured out. She know She know it all. Little did she know, man. Death come up, death come upon her. It's going to be out the window. She's going to be wishing that she would have hearkened and got her right. She's going to be wishing that she hearkened. You know? Beholding that person in the mirror and forgetting what type of man or person she truly is. We know. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they tremble, and all the mountains move lightly. And all the mountains move lightly, man. Give me Joel chapter 2, verse 27 over here, man. Matter of fact, give me Amos 3 and 1. Read this out. The book of the prophet Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Oh, children of Israel. Uh -huh. Oh, children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. And we're just being punished by the Most High and the Son. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 18. Guess what I want? I want. Let me see something. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 18. Just what I want. Uh... <laughs> That's what I want. 16 when I would get there. Nah, that either might just be like Jesus or uh, light with light going like this. Yeah, man. With a camera. Yeah. Film. All praise to the Most High, man. We just out trying to get our people to repent, man. Crying out to the wind. We are the chosen children of God, man. That's right. Amos 3 and 1. Go back to Amos 3 and 1, man. Amos 3 and 1. Sister. Sister, how you doing, sis? You know, in the last days, sister, that we all gonna have to be on our deathbed one day. We all gonna have to die one day, sis. And you know when we're on our deathbed, sister, one thing we all going to do? We all going to be crying out to God. We all going to be crying out to the Most High to save us, to deliver us. But he going to reward a person according to their ways. You know, sister, it sounds good right now, sis. You know, something to laugh at, sister. But guess what? Death and destruction coming, sis. You, you got to be out your mind if you think there's enough food to keep going around every day. It's enough pork to keep going around every day. Enough chicken to keep going around every day, sister. Some got to give, sis. Some got to give, sister, and the wrath of the Lord is upon this place. Understand, there ain't nothing to laugh about, sister. This is serious. Your soul on the line, sis. That's right. And two-thirds of us ain't going to be able to make it. Two-thirds of us going to the lake of fire, because guess what? We powerful. That's right. We, we, we disobedient. Can't tell nobody nothing. We all got it all figured out. We know it all, sis. And that's, that's going to be, that's going to, that's our problem. It's going to cause us to lake of fire, man. Read this up. 
the book of the prophet Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. We hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Hear this word that the most are speaking. We know, O oh, children of this world, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Man, we're going to get punished as a people, man. A lot of people tell them they got it all figured out. Everything good. They can do what they want to do and make it to the kingdom. But that's far from the case. That's far from the case. That's far from the case. Read. Can two walk together except they be agreed? How they going to walk with the power when they don't even agree? Read it out. How we going to walk with the most high? can't even agree, man. Read it Will they lying in the forest? Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Where no gin is for him, man. A lot of people fail to hearken, man. A lot of people fail to consider. All we are here trying to do is save their soul, man, save their life. But they fail to hearken and they fail to consider. And it's a very sad thing. That's right. Very sad. Give me Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 26. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 26. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 26. Read this. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 26. For it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of death. To reward a man according to his ways. It's an easy thing for the Lord in the day of death to accord a man according to his ways. How do we expect to reap eternal life if we're walking around here like we know everything? Like we got it all figured out. Walking around in pride. Bring it out. Disobedient. Rebellious children, man. Hey. Rebellious, and they think it's a game. Everybody driving around here laughing. But guess what? The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. That's right. His words don't come back void. Give me Galatians. Took the 5 or 17 over here. Read this up. That book of Galatians. Took the 5 and verse 17. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit. Oh, dead man. Oh, dead. Giving all praise to the most high man. We got some sheep come out to get the word, man. We're all trying to bid them to the marriage and tell them to repent. Time to come back home before it's too late. To come back home before it's too late. That's right. You know, repent and come back before it's too late. A lot of people fail to consider, man. All we out here just trying to save their soul, trying to save their life. But they drive by like they got it all figured out that they know the power. That they show that they love him. But in actuality, they're showing that they hate him. Bring it up. They say that we all say that we love God, but through our actions we show that we hate Him. We all say that we we serve in the Most High, but through our actions we show that we don't.